Hello everyone. Today I am here with a topic called sonar, which comes under standard nine physics. Now, sonar has five different letters, where S O stands for sound, N stands for navigation, A stands for end, and lastly R stands for ranging. So sonar is abbreviated as sound, navigation, and ranging. If we want to know any information about underwater object. their speed their position their velocity we will use this method if we want to know about sunken ships icebergs or any underwater object we will use the sonar method also as you can see from the figure if we want to know about what is the depth of any water body we will use this method now let us go for the flow chart this flow chart is according to the figure that is shown starting sonar consists of two main devices one is transmitter and another is detector that again you can see in the figure these two red dots symbolize one is transmitter other is detector now let us go for the process what does transmitter do transmitter will produce ultrasonic waves which will go inside and it will strike the surface and then it will be reflected back those reflected sound waves will be detected by another instrument called detector now detector has one more function this detector what it will do it will receive the sound wave and it will convert it into electrical signal these electrical signals are further interpreted and the depth whatever depth of this water body is then calculated now for calculation what is the formula it is a very easy formula we all have learned about formula of speed now what is the formula of speed speed equals to distance upon time now if speed is symbolized by v time by t and distance by d the formula becomes v equals to 2d by t friends now the question will arise why there is 2d over here now again you have to focus on the figure for this answer friends the moment transmitter transmits the ultrasonic waves it travels the depth two times one incoming and then after reflecting so that is why there is a reason we are putting 2d over here now doing the cross multiplication you get the formula d equals to v into t by 2 what is d d is the depth of the water body so likewise Sonar method is helpful. That's all for today. Thank you.